Welcome to a video where you will get to see the first ever reward pack opening for placing number one in solo battles in the entire world. Get ready for hundreds of thousands worth of coins and discards and packs to be opened up today along with a few tips to teach you guys how to place high in your solo battles yourselves. This is a very special episode brought to you by Yo Boy Pizza. Make sure you drop a like and subscribe to the channel. Enjoy. Boys, oh my, do I got a special video for you guys today. This one's a little bit different, but this one is gonna be freaking awesome, man. So for anybody that's been playing or following anything in Ultimate Team, you know that they added new solo battles. I actually touched up on that a while ago on my channel, and it's one of my favorite things that they added to Ultimate Team this year, without a doubt. Now, this is pretty crazy. Today, we're opening up all the rewards that you get for coming in first place out of everybody in these solo battles. And let me tell you something right now, these rewards are sick. If you look on this screen, we have a 250,000 coin quick sell that we get to get rid of. And if you think about it, that amount of coins right there can pretty much get you almost any card that you want to in the game right now. I'm actually super excited about this. Now let me explain what the heck's going on. So my buddy Ricky got the game early, the trial version, and with his time, he decided to grind out the solo battles. He thought it would be worth it. And uh, yeah, yeah, it was worth it. He came in first place. He was kind enough to let me use his account so I could go through this and show you guys all the rewards and then I'm gonna do a solo battle and give you a couple different tips that he told me to help you guys get a really good battle score so you can be ranking really well and getting these insane rewards yourself. So again, I wasn't the one that placed in first. Unfortunately, I didn't even get a chance to finish all my games. But Ricky, that good guy, bless his soul, he is the one that is giving us this chance to open up all this greatness. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this. I know there's a lot of packs, but I forget which packs they are. We're gonna go ahead and quick sell this for 250,000 coins. He has almost 600k. Holy crap. This is what we got in store, okay? Oh, time out. Okay. I might need to call him because we have an option on this one, either a touchdown pack or you could take 75k. That could be pretty big. Oh wait, we have five of those? Wait, we have five? Time out. I don't know if I'm reading this right or not, but like 75k. I could be looking at that completely wrong and I might be off. Like I said, this is anybody. This is the first time ever seeing this. Nobody's ever opened this up before. So let's start it off with a 20 trophy pack. This is just going to be standard. I'm going to be quite honest. Like, I don't even know what the heck you do with these trophies. Obviously, you got to put them in some type of set to get some type of reward. Yeah, okay. So you can actually get 1,500 coins for these, or you can put them in a various different amount of sets. So if you do the math right there, 20 times 1.5k. I don't know what that is, but that's that's pretty dang good. We have a power up pass pack. Not sure what this is coming from. We're just going to go ahead and crack this open and see what it is. I don't know if it's a player. Oh, what is that? You're an idiot! Mutt Master level 29. Oh, this guy has no life. This is about all he has to have been playing since he got this stupid thing. Okay, but anyways though, let's hop into this one. We're just gonna do it in order. I'm assuming this is probably in order of worst to best. A Hail Mary pack. Not sure at all what it contains, but I'm excited to be able to open it starting with a silver, all right? Do we get a guaranteed elite in here? Hail Mary pack. Oh, that pack's doo-doo. So if you get a Hail Mary pack, whenever you do these solo battles, or if you get a Hail Mary pack ever. Wait, hold on a second. Okay. I mean, that's an elite card. That could have been worse. Hail Mary pack's not guaranteed to be good. I do know that now. A midfield pack now. All right. Moving up here on the rankings. Hopefully we can do a little bit better here. Starting off with a gold Ian Silberman. Let's go through this a little bit quicker. Wow. So that pack's pretty awful too. Oh, you take that back. <laughs> And then our final midfield pack. Let's go ahead and hit it from the backside. That's not bad. Okay, an 82 Derek Brooks at this point in the game. I'd be pretty happy with that. Okay. So up next, we have a red zone pack or 25K. Ricky, I'm sorry, but I'm opening up these red zone packs. I'm doing it for the fans, all right? So let's go ahead and crack this open. Now, if this is really terrible, I'll feel pretty bad, but I'm still gonna open up the next red zone pack anyways. Can we get more than 50K value out of this? We're definitely gonna have to pull an elite if that's the case. There's a whole butt ton of cards in here. Here's our elite card. That's really sad. Sorry about that. And then we get ourselves a core rookie. So let's continue with this. We're going to open up one more red zone pack. Our pack luck has been quite awful as of right now. We got one legend that's an 82 overall. And hopefully we can just step it up here. That's all I'm looking to do, you know? My man needs to get rewarded for coming in first place in the entire world. He gets a Devonta Freeman. He may have already had that, though. Not a terrible pull, though. And then, wow, wow, wow. That is bad. So I got the message right here. He's telling me to do at least two quick sells. That's 
that's fair enough, okay? So if you think about it this way, I mean, if I'm in his shoes, I'm probably gonna do at least two or three quick sells myself, but why not have a little bit of fun with it, right? These packs gotta be worth at least 75K a piece is what I'm guessing. So we're gonna go ahead, we'll worry about the quick sells afterwards, but like I said, if you do the math, you get 375,000 coins on top of the 250,000 coin quick sell. But like I said, we're gonna get a feeling for these. We're gonna open up at least two of these for you guys. I don't wanna ruin him too bad because these are his packs and I wanna get him as many coins as we possibly can. Here goes an Elite. It's an 82 Crabtree. Oh, I get my selection. An 83 Sanders. Come on, step it up big time for me here. Wow. Oh wait, hold on, okay. There's the coin thing on here, so we'll be able to discard him for 40K at least. That could have been a lot worse than what it was, okay? I wonder if you're guaranteed one of these guys in here. Here we go, set me up with touchdown pack number two. We're not gonna take the quick sell, which is probably a really stupid idea right now. Again, Ricky, thank you for letting me do this, even though you didn't give me permission. Three players here to choose from. I want one banger player, come on, give him to me. That's not too bad, an 85 Randy Moss, that probably goes right now, I would say that might go for about like 50k ish it might we have to go ahead and check on that one we get a deshaun jackson and our final card okay that makes this decision definitely pretty easy yeah okay he goes for almost 60k so that's not too bad i'm gonna open up one more of these and i'm gonna quick sell the other two to get them a guaranteed 150,000 coins uh these packs definitely aren't bad so far we got a card worth 40k and then we got a card worth about 55,000. so it's not like we're losing a ton as opposed to you know discarding that quick sell for 75,000 coins now if we end up with something like that that could be a huge disaster our final card in this pack please somebody good oh okay that was awkward yes, it was so what you guys are seeing right here firsthand what i would probably do if i were you is possibly just discard these things and take your guaranteed coins and like i said especially this early in the game this is probably the best option wow the amount of coins that you get for coming in first place is just nutty we'll just go ahead and add another 75k to his account up to 722,000. you gotta be kidding me if anybody's wondering this is the team that he used to place first he has some pretty good guys here and some he's strategically got which let me just explain this to you guys real quick because the better players you have obviously it's going to be a lot easier to complete the solo battles if you do the team diamond sets and you pick the dallas cowboys at the way end you are literally guaranteed to get one of their really good offensive linemen he did that ended up with 88 tyrone smith there's also another one actually and in the team diamond sets as well if you pick the cincinnati Bengals, you are guaranteed to get either aj green or geno atkins a hundred percent chance and then the cardinals is the other one to go for you You'd either get David Johnson or Larry Fitzgerald, guaranteed. But if you guys look, he's rocking this team with an 81 Devin Wade. So he doesn't have anything super great. And then one thing he told me, which was very important, was speed. So he has Brandon Cooks and then Tyreek Hill in the slot. You can get this card very easily by leveling up. On defense, it's pretty decent. This is from a level up pack that he got. And then obviously his main point of emphasis is going to be his DB, Stephon Gilmore, Jari Alexander. And then he actually has a pretty good defensive line too. So keep in mind, there are a lot of ways to get these guys. You see a lot of his players are NATs. These are either from sets or solo battles more than likely. So you guys will be able to get these cards just as easy as anybody else without really spending any money either because he hasn't dropped any money into this game yet. So that's that for everything that you get for placing in first. Now what I'm about to do is go ahead and get into a solo challenge. I will not get into one on his account because he will literally kill me. I'm gonna switch over to my account. I'm gonna play a solo battle and give you guys some tips on what we talked about would definitely help you increase in your score. So let's go ahead over and switch over to my account. All right, we're over on my account now. What we're gonna go ahead and do is play our first game, which will be against a featured opponent. For anybody that doesn't know, this game right here gives you a battle score boost. You see it up in the top right corner. If there's a game that you wanna put a lot of time into and really go try hard, it'll be this one. This is where you're gonna get a lot of extra points from, okay? Also, we're gonna talk about this in a little bit, but if you look up in the top left, it says 43 hours until next opponent update. If you don't play your game selected, right here by this 43 hours, then you will get losses for every one of them. I found that out the hard way because I wasn't able to get on for a couple of days. So those are two little tips right there that starting off people might not know. So make sure you do that. I figure in the beginning of these solo battles, the first month are probably going to be the easiest to rank up in that top 100 because people are still trying to figure things out. But let's go ahead and get into this one. And also you have to play on ultimate. If you play on legendary or professional or any of these other ones, you're not going to get enough 
enough points to place up in the top 100. That's just a guarantee. But let me do point this out though. Ricky actually got really lucky whenever he was doing his solo battles for week one. His first two games were actually played on the difficulty below ultimate. That's why if you've seen his score wasn't at 300,000, which was kind of weird because he still placed in first but didn't get that top rank that you guys see. But obviously if he would have played all of his games on all Madden, he would have absolutely just smoked everybody. So he kind of gave me a few different tips. A lot of this stuff is kind of common sense here and there, but uh, it's stuff that you guys definitely want to pay attention to. The first thing he said, without a doubt, the most important thing, the easiest way to score touchdowns on the higher difficulty is to grind a little bit and level up to get the Tyree kill. I feel like it's somewhere around level 14. I have him already. Um, I actually have a pretty decent team right now because I've been grinding for a while now, but the Tyree kill is still faster than all these other guys as well. So make sure you go ahead and get Tyree kill. What he said that he did was he found a play where he can get Tyree kill one on one, put him on a streak route nearly every single play, and just send him. And he kept going on and on, and he said the fact that you can get the Tyree kill this early in the game that easily, it's just OP as heck. And he took advantage of that like crazy. It was just tossing bombs at Tyree kill over and over again. Now obviously on all Madden, you're not gonna get it every single time. It's not gonna be super easy to do. Now number two, and this is also a pretty big one. When Whenever you're playing your games and you're looking to get coins, what you want to spend all of your coins on for your team is your defense. We've seen that he dropped some dough on some DBs. That's pretty important. He also has a pretty good defensive line. If you don't have at least one or two good cornerbacks, it's going to be very tough to stop these teams on all Madden, especially if you're just like a more casual player. But I've seen it firsthand here with myself with a few solo battles and things. Crap, that's C. Don't do that. But I've seen it firsthand though with a lot of my friends, myself included, whenever I started the game trying to do solo battles. It's super hard with a team that you start off with, with a lot of gold cards on your team, to actually stop these guys on offense. But if you have the good players that lock these guys up, not like that more often than not, then you're gonna have more chances for your offense to hit the field. Now I've learned this firsthand with myself starting out these solo battles along with a lot of my friends. Wow, this is just sadness. Okay. So if you spend a decent amount of your coinage on getting a couple solid defensive backs and maybe some defensive linemen to stop the run whenever they try it, that's going to be key. Plus, if you do that, they're going to be more likely to force turnovers and get quick stops to get your offense on the field really quick. Where honestly, all you really need is that Tyreek Hill card. This is going to be really sad whenever I go through this whole thing and lose. I'm trying to give you guys tips on how to win and do better in these solo battles. Let's go. That's having a good DB. Who's that? Jalen Ramsey right there? My point exactly. I don't think a silver card is going to make that play. Now, this is an example that's really dumb because this TO team is a lot better than other teams that you had to face in week one and probably the other teams as well that you will face in the second week because it is the featured opponent so throwing one up to Randy Moss might not be as easy as other things but you could look other ways too but when you're playing on offense you could really just cheese it if you wanted to you could find one good play and just continue to run that like every single play now I don't know what playbook this is so I'm still trying to figure that stuff out <sighs> it's tied up 3-3 three, three. that's not good don't do what I'm doing right now if you notice this is another very important thing that I want to point out by half it, you might be really used to putting chew clock on or running the clock down really far just to get out of the games fairly easily. Make sure that you're not doing that whenever you play these games. The more stats, the more points, the more turnovers that you face, the better. It kind of stinks in a way because if you really want to rank up high, it makes these games a grind. But you guys seen as what you get as far as the rewards go. So it, it'll definitely be worth it if you rank up pretty good. Come on, pick me up a first down here. Here's Antonio Brown right up the pipe. That's not a bad play. Running was something that I was told to kind of avoid. Number one, it's really hard to do. If any of you guys were wondering how many points he put up, how many points that he gave up in these games, uh, he said it varied a lot whenever he was playing. That's a sick catch, by the way. Thanks for bailing me out. He told me he put up anywhere between 20 and 45 points. So if you're on the pace that I am right now, it's probably not looking too good for you. Oh, man, we have to have Moss right here. That has to be a dinger. Oh, is he so good? There we go. That's the touchdown we needed. By the way, if you're wondering, I forgot to put Tyreek Hill in my lineup. That's why he's not playing right now, which was a big mistake. One last tip that I could give you guys. He told me that he forced a lot of turnovers. Now, I'm not sure if this direct directly correlates with getting you more points or not. But he told me he got at least a couple interceptions a game and quite a few defensive touchdowns. And I'm sure in some type of way that those would definitely relate to each other. So if you could force up a Hail Mary or make them throw up stupid passes like this and get interceptions, I'm sure that it can't do anything but help your score, honestly. What a nice move. Come on, baby. See, I like this though, because if you can set the computer up in a situation like this, you might be able to get an easy interception whenever they throw the ball up, which I kind of like, and we got. 
So there we go. We didn't do too bad on defense, actually, which is normally the biggest problem. Stopping these teams might not be easy a lot of the time, so we'll definitely take that. And I'm going to call timeouts. We're just going to try to get more yards. You never know. We might get a touchdown. It is what it is. It wasn't a great game, but at least we forced turnovers. We got about three interceptions at least that game. And then look at that. We got over 23,000 that game. So that wasn't too bad. And also, yeah, if you look, these other teams definitely aren't as good. 81 overall, 75 overall, 82, 79. So you're going to be able to expose these teams a lot easier than the featured opponent for the week most of the time. I'm sure that there's a lot of other stuff I forgot to mention. So if so, I'll put it down in the comments or in the description of the video. Make sure to go ahead and check that out. Let me know what do you think of the solo battles? What do you think? of the rewards. All I know is first place is insane. So good luck with your solo battles. If you have any tips yourself that you would like to put down below, I'd definitely like to check them out and respond to them if possible. And yeah, as always guys, I'm your boy Pizza. A huge shout out to my boy Ricky one more time for letting me open up those packs and giving me a couple tips on how he placed in first. Don't forget to subscribe if you're brand new. And until next time, guys, I'm your boy. Don't forget to keep guy number one. I'll see y'all later. Peace out. I'm out of here. It's like the blind leading the blind in these solo challenges. My gosh.